This video is about our day trip up to Siebert Lake, Alberta. We went up September 19th, 2020 to check out the campsite and do a little kayak fishing. I couldn't find much for directions on how to get to Siebert Lake, but it's pretty easy to find. From Highway 55, you take Range Road 90 North and you'll see the uh, Siebert Lake Trail. It's a bush road that runs from Range Road 90 to uh, the Siebert Lake Campground. It was a hazy day. We had smoke from the California wildfires. This is Range Road 90. We were heading north from Highway 55. From Range Road 90, the Seabird Lake Road is well marked. This road, they recommend a four-wheel drive vehicle. When we were on it, you shouldn't have any trouble getting a, a car down the road. The Seabird Lake Road is 22 kilometers long. It takes a while to get through that road because you can't go very fast, but at the end, we pulled into the campground. This is an example of one of the campsites. Um, you can see the ruts. Uh, some of the roads in the campground were fairly rough. But this is an old school provincial campground. We made our way down to the boat launch. It's a nice boat launch. There's a cement ramp. You won't have any trouble launching a boat in this lake. And the lake is fairly large. This is a big lake and we were impressed with the quality of the water. The water is nice and clean. This turned out to be a beautiful day to kayak and do some fishing. The lake was smooth all day long, there wasn't any wind. And the fishing was pretty good. In fall, the bite starts to taper off, but we did catch some fish. Uh, I managed to land six pike, and they were about that size, about two pounds. The elusive Jake caught two pike, and I managed to boat three walleyes. So this is the biggest walleye that I caught. It was about three pounds. And this was a third and the smallest walleye that I caught that day. So we enjoyed our day here. We'll definitely be back again. We'd like to spend a few nights in the campground and do a little bit more fishing in the lake. 